and uh, welcome to a uh, feed commentary from episode eight, uh, 18 uh, for the feed do not go gentle into the black night this is the no death feed for episode 18 the elite rate uh, this is the elite version and when well the whole video is really long so if you're just interested in parts check out this uh, the description they I made tags in there for all the fights including the maze and some people might be interested in how we solve the maze uh, so it's not really something special however just let's get started and you will see uh, this is the first fight uh, obviously for most people this is the easiest amongst all three boss fights so, so we solved it that Hang Hanshore is tanked yeah, you see him not directly in the middle, it's somewhere between the middle and the door entrance and the group stays at the entrance, they are not moving away there. That gives a kind of uh, visual block for the manhunters that are coming out left and right because they can't see the group there. That does work for each of those corners, but since we're coming out there from the entrance, we just kept the people there. And the uh, ad tank for the manhunters is standing around in the middle, a bit more like to the window, to the core window, so he can easily pull all the ads away. And then when he has the ads, you see that here I'm moving the ads uh, to the window out of range, so the damage is not splitting, but overall that's it kinder. What can be a problem is the skull attack from Hang Hanshore, so when he ch uh, charges someone, best thing is the group is blocking, Heal is popping shields, look who he's charging to, but yeah, if you're not sure, block it as a full group, it will be fine. And that's the whole fight actually. Oh yeah, the second one is that you can die as an ad tank on the Manhunters when they they go into explode for sure, since you're not DPSing the Manhunters there. So uh, you have to be a bit careful as the ad tank. So this is also an important part after the boss fight when we go in into the uh, next part of, of ranks. These downed uh, yellow lanterns need to be taken care of or if they come in up they can actually kill someone if they're not careful. This is why we're basically running here to tanks. We have all the time in the world. There is no rush. So you can do it with one tank, it's no biggie if, if you have the controller or the second healer taking care of Yeah, So that's it. Uh, you're asking why does the ascender uh, just came up even though ads were not that. This is by the way something a lot of people have not recognized yet how that works. Usually the ascenders appearing when uh, all ads are dead and no one is interacting with the downed yellow lanterns or, well, Sinestro Corp, not Yellow Lanterns, but I call them Yellow Lanterns because it's easy for me. Or, a uh, Life Taker is in their range. You saw before they die, he died, there was a Life Taker there. And that can basically yeah, awaken them too er uh, earlier than they should. So, yeah, that's it pretty much. And then you just need to handle basically from ad room to another ad room uh, the constructs charging but they don't really do much damage just take care of the life takers that they get interrupted because if you don't do that they can kind of kill someone uh, what else yeah that's kind of that oh yeah the slayer can teleport sometimes but if people are aware of it he, he should not instantly kill someone so with two healers you should be able to react on his teleport appropriate it takes a bit getting used to this whole thing so here's another ascender so there's no life taker here so he will be interactable definitely after yep the ads are dying uh, there you go interact with it and then you go next one and this is how you go until you reach the maze uh, just some general things while we are at it. Um, we're running with one controller. He is munitions. 
but it doesn't matter which kind of control you, you take. It helps to have a controller with a shield, but also a gadget is really, really useful with the decoy, so it really does not matter what you take. Uh, Uh, for the tanks, well, the tanks, you need at least one appropriate ad tank and one appropriate um, boss kind of tank. It has nothing to do with the power sets. We could have done with any other power set, but Skilly and me at this point for this part, well, we just tested out Atomics and I'm still just like the power set so and skilly I'm kind of the same so it's not really like uh, we went for atomic because we think that is the way to go you can do it with anything else with fire with we got progression going also with fire with ice tanks you will see that we even do the second part with an ice tank later because skilly couldn't come along for that so yeah this is that you will see this is the group it, it's actually only Skilly who gets replaced then for for um, for Noira, but when we're there, I will just explain that again. So uh, DPS are all of us a sorcery. Uh, Dark Bear is gadgets, and Raiden is at this point also gadgets already. He switched from Quantum to gadgets at one point because you got really annoyed by the damage. So that was his personal choice. That has nothing to do with the raid. And the healers are Sevula is Celestius since Celestia came out. He never ever changed it to something else. And the same for Nature Princess, who is Nature since he created that char. This is an old of Mojo. Um it was not we did not specifically I know some people will go like oh nature harvest they can harvest spam yeah this is correct but to be fair you see you, you really don't need that nature we don't progression with two celestial or something else you can you can definitely do the feed with any power set as long you can play the power set yeah um, we just had no other option available at that time and so it turned out that we had a nature healer and a celestial. It was not like, oh god, we need a nature to even complete that raid somehow. That was not needed. The the ads were always under control by Atom Atomic as, as like one of the super ad tanks because you consistently spam and reapply the taunt with the combos. Uh, yeah, so this is that part. And when you don't all the ads, you're going for the next part. This is the maze. Um, the maze we solved kind of like straightforward. We moved always on the left side top. Uh, so we moved from when you will check then the minimap, we always moved. Uh, the west corridor up to the north and then from the north to the east uh, we done it on all on all attempts because we find that having everyone on the same page uh, helps than just running blind through that thing that that can confuse so make up a route and just follow it even if it means you will be stuck there on one point for a while um, also, we made sure that the group is always the furthest away from the next door where ads are behind. So you see ads are right now when we're moving to north. There are ads on the right side and on the, no on the north. But the group moves more on the left side if they can. And then we pull the ads over to, well, we tried to actually pull the ads, but the controllers stomp the ads. Uh, yeah, we can pull them, but it doesn't matter, they will come back. So we basically as tanks keep standing at the doors or uh, keep comboing, so as soon as the door goes back up, uh, they get automatically torn in bars. And that works um, fairly well here. Also Lizard Ray <laughs> helped a lot with... Uh, you see, the Fury of Alala also tries to kill them, but he pretty much get wrecked, get wrecked inside there.
So yeah, from from the north point on the map, from the northwest point, we then moving slowly to the northeast. You see the ads coming in. They get straight taunted and stunned by the tanks because the group kept standing first as first away they can, and the on the opposite side of the corner that ensures and and they also trying to block. Of course, that helps. Um, yeah, this is that part, and then just keep moving. You see. Um, the tanks keep an eye on it um, they will always move first no matter what uh, because we don't know if the door on the right side from this point of view will be open but it wasn't here but there are specific combinations where this door can be open so you rather want to avoid that and then the group moves ahead to the console that you activate to turn off the maze and they really standing far behind. Uh, try to teach your DPS to stay as far as possible away because there's some really nasty splash, dam splash damage sometimes going on. If the ad seems to not hitting hard, it, but it's played safe. Um, you see how far they are actually away. No one really tries to get closer to do extra damage. And. This is already that part. So you will wonder, we we cutting here a little bit because um, after this ad is dying, we cutting a bit because what we did up before we entered each boss fight, we were had a, had a conversation of that everyone was on the same page, checked that everyone knew what what was going on in the fight. This is important. So I skipped those breaks. You will not see them because they are boring, and I also skipped the the cutscenes and then straight to the boss fight. So. This is boss number two. This is Lizard Rack. It can be done with one tank. But it helps to have two. What we did was we started with one tank. In this case. But you will see me switching around a, a third left of Luzar's health bar um, simply to get checked that the ad is not going to. Uh, yeah. Going into the group. Also, we want to avoid that uh, when one of the tanks gets stunned. By the, you see right now the tank will get stunned all the time because the the group is really close at the entrance to avoid as much as po uh, possible uh, snap traps so we decided to run then on the add part with two tanks so if one tank is stunned the other one can take over and there's not too much pressure on the tank it, and on also on the healers it can it usually should go well, but we had attempts where it really failed, and we decided, eh, why risking it? Yeah, everything here went under the premise that why should you risk something when you can play it safe? Yeah, it will take a bit longer than it should, but this is a no death feat and not a how fast you can do it feat. You see me also in DPS stance. I'm running the shield right now here. The, the group shield um, is not really like important. You see the group can easily check from this position at the door where the book will spawn. Everyone is on the same page and see that. Yeah. So here you see around one third. I switched to tank. Apparently I also got straight the turret on me, <laughs> uh, which was not too bad. Uh, so, well, it happens. So, we had now the book in the middle. Most important part is do not move <laughs> to try to do damage. Then, rather, just sit the book out. There's no, no worries about it. So, you see, the book now is over there um, on the other side, on the upper side. So, everyone, see, everyone will see from that position when it will close it. So you see, Skilly is now tanked, uh, now now stunned, not tanked. Well, he's still tanked, but he's now stunned, and I will take over for him while he does not has the pressure of the book. Everyone on the group sees now the book is opening and will move. 
move a bit slowly over. You don't have to move that much, they are actually fine over there. The book will not hit. So, you see, now, now I'm stunned, and I'm skilly taser over both. So, it's safe for... For the uh, for the healers, it's easier to heal, and for the tanks, it's yeah, kind of easier to tank. So, and that's kind of already the 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 whole part of the boss fight. Yeah. Block all the snap traps and uh, ensure that this ram from Lisa Drag is not hitting into the group. Phase it away. Uh, check the book. Check the position of everyone. Everyone needs to know where the book is currently. Uh, Everyone has to be able to move when it is needed, but usually it's rarely on. Run it with one tank or with two tanks, it kind of doesn't matter, but with two tanks we felt, at least when the ad came out, it felt a lot safer. So this was the first part of the no death, and then you can... Then we go in straight into the second part. The second part you see, Skilly is now replaced by Nora. Nora is an ice tank. This is not because we don't like Skilly, it's just because he couldn't attempt that night and we, uh, we took Nora instead. Um, this part here is also important for the, for the group. The group has to stay as furthest away from the door that will open as they can or they will have to deal with lunging ads. Especially these abolishers are annoying. They are annoying not only for the tank because they just doing so much damage those two hander ads. Oh yeah, they can block rake with tap. Uh yeah, this is already the second part, so while we're ahead, yeah, well you see we're moving our way. Again, this is one of these ad waves um, you also have here the um, uh, ascenders, so when you kill the ads, don't forget to get the ascenders if you can, otherwise position a tank at, at this point, or a healer or controller. You see, we do this at the moment with one tank. You don't need a second tank, but if you feel more comfortable with two tanks, do it. Yeah, just do it. Uh, in the early stage of the feed attempt, we done we done it also with two tanks. So, and it worked. It worked either way. It's obviously taking just a bit more time, but you should bring time for this feed. It's not something you get just by cause because you 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 uh, enter the instance. So, the feed itself, yeah. Our goal for the feed was not to just go for uh, some kind of server or first or so, even so it's uh, according to Sandals even words first, but that was not the whole thing about it. The thing was to finish the feed before it gets devalued with the next episode. Because let's face it, when the next episode is coming out, episode 19, um, when this video is published, is like two or three more days left where you ha can get the feed. Um, uh, without uh, having episode 19 gear access. But when you get episode 19 gear, a lot of these critical shots that these ads are doing are developed because they do nothing to you. we seen that on test and I have to say we wanted to go get it done before the feed kind of gets developed because if you do the feed with episode 19, yeah, it just doesn't will feel as awesome as it did here, where we did it just with episode 18 here. Like, I don't know, this is actually the achievement. So you understand why why we did it, why we tried to really push it before, um, before episode 19 came out. Of course, it's awesome that we also got uh, that first on top. So this is the last ad wave and now we're coming to the tricky part. We actually do a last boss fight equally to how we do it normal. Okay, so you see I'm skipping here again. This is just no one interested in 
uh, me changing the loader. What I did on the loader change is I removed the bro breakout and took the supercharge for the shield in. Um, we tanked the boss there at the corner, uh, the boss tank. Uh, Nora is tanking it there at the entrance, at the door, really close. Um, and I take the ads on and go wander with them. The, the most important part is if you the ad tank, try to avoid on the first ad wave to get the dot. Otherwise, the dot is stacking up so badly until this boss fight is over. Yeah. This is why I'm doing it. I'm, I'm just pulling them out to the to the um, to the outer circle, and then I run. In this case, counterclockwise, but you can also do it clockwise. Just talk to the group. It's important. Communicate what you're doing as a tank. Communicate. Here you see I'm switching just the positions because uh, people were on the other side, and it's just like no need. And as atomic tank. I used to uh, you uh, when I, when when the ads are about to die. I do not use uh, atom smasher. What's that called? Just to avoid them pulling. So he dies now, and I'm rolling away. I hope that I did it in time. Yeah, I did it in time. So yeah, you see me. I. I have no dot after the first wave, that helps a lot, but on top of that, you will see me kinda like later getting some real trouble with the dot bug going on. Uh, they still haven't fixed it, so even with the dot bug, we just done it. So, what else then? Yeah, as tank, you're just standing there in the middle waiting for the next ad wave. The DPS, you see the cloud is coming, everyone's blocking over there. Uh, this is important. Announce the cloud. Uh, block the cloud. Do not try to DPS like crazy. Spread a bit if you can. They're trying to spread kinder because when he's when Blackhand does this spin, this one here, where they can, when, if they would break out here, yeah, like they will do now. Poof! But they had shields. Otherwise, they would have not been able to break that out. This is important because this breakout can kill, uh, kill people. If there are people cl are next to the person who is stunned by this effect, uh, they will do damage uh, on a breakout, and it also counts if a tank is breaking out for you. So you need to be careful. If a tank is breaking out for you, you're also doing that damage around you. So actually, your tank needs to also <laughs> look what's going on, not just blindly doing everything. Um, well, I don't have so much breakouts here anyway. I basically don't have any active breakout aside from going into the aura. And uh, Ram with uh, Noira with with his uh, with ice. Well, he has only one effectively because the other one is bugged. If I'm right, or was it something else? I don't remember what's bugged there for 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 uh, ice. I think it was one of the breakouts. Um, yeah. And that's it. Uh, same story. Get the ads. Try to not get the, the dot, but you see, I got the dot, and at this point, it didn't matter so much for me. So I'm not rushing like crazy ahead. Uh, rather play safe. That the corruptor is not screwing over my group because the corruptor still can pull and do a lot of damage. You see me having two dots already on me. Yeah, I get. Like nearly, well, here it was 18k I got. 18k, remember, this is a lot for an atomic tank. I have around 31 or 32k health with the uh, compound Omega at the health soda right now. So, this is a lot of damage that is going on. And you will see with the next ad wave how it kinda kills me. This is how bad it is to don't. So. It's about to kill me, yeah, but it should be no problem as soon they fix that problem. So, or if you're kind of taking care of the whole thing, the, the whole dot, avoiding the bodies. Most important is the group needs to avoid the bodies under any circumstances because if they get a dot, they will probably die over time. So, you see, people are again stunned. They will break out any moment. There they go. 
because they know they had the shield or the supercharge on, on top, so they were safe to break out. And I keep comboing, so first to get my uh, our aura stunt, uh, my aura active, and on top I get some heals back. But yeah, this is that. So same story. Get the ads to the outside, circle them, stun them as much as you can. Um, there you see the Slayer on the back. Uh, the Slayer is on the ice tank now because I couldn't handle more ads. It was really tricky at the point with the with the dot that was going on. Uh, so we decided to completely, uh, well, keep the keep that one ad over there for the other tank. It wasn't really a biggie for 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 the group. I, uh, yeah, that's it. This is the third wave. Usually, Black Hand is about soonish to would would now go into uh, kind of. Uh, Shield phase state, but sta but he doesn't do it here because we are not 100% sure if, if it's the range uh, away from the middle, but he sometimes does it and even does it not, or if it's how we clear the ads. We, we're really not sure what causes him to shield or not. Uh, if he would have shielded, I don't know, we would have probably done it with shield as well. We decided at this point to just take the ads to the middle, leave the corruptor there, and just burn black hand. So, and that's just that. That's actually everything. Pay attention what's happening. Uh, block when necessary. Take your time, and then you will get the no death feat. And uh, remember, you have different you have tries uh, you have a two stage try you can do it once on ranks and then you have another try on quad itself anyway thank you guys for watching and see you next time if you have questions put them in the comments and if you want subscribe bye bye